crafty friends so for today I have I'm so excited I have this uh, awesome video of a purchase I made this past week and it is the Prima lavender collection when I first saw this collection oh my gosh I just instantly um, couldn't wait for it to come out it is absolutely stunning and I looked a lot online, including at the Prima website, to try to find an overview of what's in it, and I didn't find a lot of usable um, pictures to see what it looked like. And um, in the Prima website, uh, for whatever reason, it looks like it's undergone some changes, and so it didn't have a good page, kind of like Bo Bunny has an awesome section where you can look at each collection and you can see exactly what each page looks like, what all the ephemera looks like, what all the flowers look like. Um, and the Prima website didn't have that, so I thought I'd make a video. So if you were interested in the collection, you'd be able One to see it. One thing that too. I have to say about this collection and a lot of what you'll see uh, coming out recently is there's lots and lots and lots of foil. And there's just foil everywhere on all the stuff. So this page is called Through the Years. Uh, Prima only has six different designs in this collection. And it looks like that's true for some of the other collections that they have. So uh, I think I got at least a couple extra of each of them. So this is the Through the Years page. And it is a collection of different journaling cards that you can cut apart. Uh, it looks like this is maybe eight inches and these are four inches maybe. Um, and that looks like that's about six by six. And so here's this one. And on the back, most of them have some fairly... Um, neutral, very neutral backs to all of them. And so this looks like this is um, some vintage uh, receipts, it looks like. Um, and so it's a nice blank back that you can stack this stuff on top of. So this is just such pretty. You can see the all the different foil on it everywhere. This page is called My Last Note, and it has foil up at the top, and it looks like how my grandma used to keep track of stuff on her farm. Uh, it's her record keeping. And this is the back of it, and now that I see the back of it, I kind of wished I would have gotten more, because this is really pretty. I've seen this in a lot of the samples that people have done using this collection. And you can see that it's a very nice, um, just neutral swirly design. It incorporates all the different colors. That was my last note. Butterflies. There's lots of butterflies in this collection. And here is a page that's definitely cut apart worthy. And there's all sorts of little butterflies that you can fussy cut if you're into that kind of thing. Um, lots of little tags that you can create out of it. Lots and lots and lots of butterflies and you can see that some of these butterflies have foil. And on the back it looks like this is a city layout for some unnamed city. A bunch of little buildings and stuff. So again very neutral on the back. Lots of stuff you can cut apart on the front. And what's nice about the backs being so neutral is that usually you have just an absolutely fantastic piece on the front and then you turn it over and you're like, oh my gosh, I like the back just as much. I don't want to cut apart either side of it. So at least with this, with the neutral backs, then you get all the good stuff on one side. Uh, this is Constantly Growing With You. So that would be sheet number four out of six. This whole thing is all foil. You can see how it's reflecting here. Um, very pretty. Uh, just a very nice 
rose with copper foil behind it. On the back, again, very neutral, uh, just vintage looking uh, receipts and notes and all sorts of stuff. So easy to cut that apart and not feel bad about it. But I do kind of like the back too. That would make a really nice back to a journal page. Alrighty, this is sheet number five. This is Communication Through Love. And this is a bunch of cut aparts. Um, I got a couple sheets of this. Several sheets of this. Um, and it looks like this would make nice little tags in a mini album, for example. Uh, or actually, pieces of this uh, would be nice on the front of a card, even. So... In the back of this, you can see the words everywhere. You can see a little bit of shine. Each of the different cut aparts, almost all of them have a little bit of copper foil on them. In the back, again, is some city street layout. Uh, nice, neutral. And the last, page six. This one is My Love in a Bundle. And I'm not quite sure why I only got one extra of this. Um, but I did, and you can see the copper words, some very pretty flowers. Uh, I don't do a lot of fussy cutting, so maybe that's why I only got one, because I kind of had a vision problem seeing what I would do with this if it was a full sheet like this. So, And again, we got the city streets layout on the back. So those are the individual sheets. I also got a pad, a 12 by 12 pad, with all of those, and it looks like I might have forgotten to show you the back of this one. The communication through love, the back is beautiful. I did get a bunch of these. Um, this I could totally see using on a card. That's just gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. No foil, but that's okay. It's pretty. I see, like, maybe a Mother's Birthday card or a Mother's Day card with this. Uh, this would also be really nice if you're going to make, like, use it for decorating a box that you'd make to put cards in to give to somebody. And the pad of paper is all the same sheets as what we just went through. So the 12 by 12 pads, they do have the uh, foil on them. So all the 12 by 12 individual sheets, as well as the pads, have the foil. On almost every sheet, if not one side of each sheet. However, I don't think the 6x6 pad had foil on it. So let's pop that open and take a look at that. So sometimes in life, while bling is always lovely, there are instances where you just don't want bling. And so you can see that the 6x6 pad is just a smaller version of the 12x12. And this does not have any foil on it at all. So that is the difference between this and the 12 by 12. Now the 12 by 12 package came with four sheets of each. This comes with six sheets of each. And it's the same combination of the front and back as the other one. So here's that rose one that the background was all copper foil. And here's what it looks like without the foil. And that's equally as pretty, but in a different way. And the butterflies, much smaller cut aparts. And what's interesting is, as a small pattern, I like this better as a small pattern for the backgrounds. That's actually kind of cool when it's small like that. Here's my last note which looks like a ledger. Here's that purple one. Small pattern, I actually kind of like this. 
large pattern. Not sure if I liked it as much. Although I did get it in case I wanted to fussy cut stuff. But you can see here as well, there's no uh, foil on the words on this one. So that's a six by six pad. I usually try to get one out of every collection that I get just to have them. Um, so then let's go through some of the other stuff that I got. It's always hard when all you see is a little tiny snippet of stuff on screen to actually see what it looks like in real life. So this is the sticker pack and uh, like I said it's obvious I haven't opened it yet but this actually has 118 stickers in it so let's take a look at that see what that is made up of. Two separate packages of stickers so these are foiled, and these are really pretty. This bottom one says Heart of Gold. I know that's kind of hard to see. Here's some planner stickers. When I did find the Prima website, it looks like they have a lot of planner stuff now, too. So this would go well with that. All this is that same matching copper foil. And these are beautiful. So this collection has an interesting assortment of sentimental love-based statements. And then there's other stuff like dance. And there's you'll see in the journaling cards that they kind of have two different themes going on, so uh, lots of butterflies, roses. So those are the stickers, 118 of them. Many of them are part of the stickers that were in the planner with all the copper foil. I also got some chipboard stickers. I don't use these very much, so I only got one package of them. And you can see on here, I'm not going to take them out of the package, but it looks like it's a very similar collection of chipboard or excuse me, yeah, chipboard stickers that were the same as what the sticker stickers were that we just looked at. And yes, that little arrow is a extra piece of chipboard. That's kind of cute. So these are the chipboard stickers. I also got the journaling cards. And here you get three of each of them. There's 15 designs, and we'll flip through them real quick. So this one, nice little note. says today you are amazing remember that you are worth it kind of reminds me of a Saturday Night Live skit from a long time ago Everybody should be so blessed. A pretty little, just blank one. Write your own notes on it. Embrace the glorious. That's really pretty. Now some of these are upside down. So, so this is where the theme kind of takes a little bit of a left turn. Um, I was born to be wild but only until about 9 p.m. or so. I thought that was kind of funny. Dance your dance. 
And you can see the backs of these, again, is that very neutral city street layout. Um, so that you can put stuff on the back if you want and not have to compete with what was on the front. I like this one. Let's wander where the Wi-Fi is weak. Now again, very different theme from the love and cherish and blessed that we saw on some of the other uh, pages. This day and age, this is a really good one. Smile at strangers, we are all in this together. We won't be distracted by comparison if we are captivated with purpose. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. Those were the three by fours. There are also four by sixes. And it appears that all of these are the same, just in a larger size. So here's, for example, smile at strangers. We are all in this together. Now these would be awesome in a mini album to put pictures on the front or back of. So I'm not going to flip through these since these are almost identical to the other package. I think there might be one that might be different. Or I might have skipped it. So let's get on to the pretty, pretty stuff. So there are two collections of butterflies. I only got one of them. And this is the one that's called Aslan? Aslan? And these butterflies have some of their multi-layer vellum on top of paper. So it looks like somebody cut them out three times, two sheets of paper, and then one sheet of vellum on the top, stamped with the butterfly. I don't have the other package, um, and I forgot, I think it's like Ophelia or something. Like that. I did not get that one. I like these butterflies better. Then there are the Say It and Crystals. And I pulled this out so that you could see just how beautiful they are uh, without having the plastic in front of them. But these crystals are just absolutely spectacular. Little uh, glints of gold in there. All sorts of sparkly. I couldn't help it. I got a couple packages of these. I've tried to get some of the Satan crystals before, and sometimes it's really hard to find older sets of them. And when I saw this, I knew that later on, I'm sure these will sell out really fast. So um, I got some. And then there's the ephemera pack. Now, instead of... Um, Shuffling through all these, I actually pulled out, I bought two packages, pulled out the other package, and laid them all out by theme, so that it's a little bit easier to see. So to start with, there's a handful, and these, most of these have the uh, copper foil. There's a handful of larger pieces of ephemera. You can see the copper foil on this one. Then there's some larger decorative pieces. And these all have foil. For those of you, like me, who don't want to fussy cut everything, cute little bicycle. Some lavender sticking out of it. I think that's like about the only lavender I've actually seen in the collection that's truly lavender. Most of it's rose. 
There are some ephemera that are word banners. There's a whole bunch of tickets, various sizes and directions. And then there are some hearts and some butterflies. And all, almost all of these have the copper foil on them. Uh, these two appear that they don't, and this one doesn't have copper, but most of the ephemera has copper on it to match the paper. Now, the one thing that I've always been challenged with with washi tape is that you can never see when you're simply looking at the package what it's going to look like. And even though there might be a little bit of a sample here, it's not really, you don't really get a good feel for what's in here. So I like to take a strip on a two size card and actually um, put some washi out of whatever the collection is. And then I have a little notebook that these go into so I can always flip through and see what kind of washi tape I have. And so you can see that two, the middle two, have foil on them. And the top one is just a very nice pink neutral quarter inch thin line. So that's the washi. And last but not least, we have the flowers. So, of the flower collections, I got four different ones. This is Gianna. These have little yellow stamens in them. And a few flowers without stamens. This collection is Esme. And the interesting thing was, when I took a look at the product number on it to try to get the name, uh, Prima has the same SKU number on it as it does with Milan or Milane. Um, but these are really pretty. If you take a look at the centers of the flowers, they're little, uh, look like multicolored beads. And some little Lily of the Valleys in pastel colors. This is the Mullane collection. Milan, Mullane. Um, and this paper here looks very similar to the paper that's actually in the paper package. Some of the other ones, um, I'm not sure if they're shared between the other new collections that Prima has come out with, um, but none of these really have that lavender color to them like the paper does. Uh, this one is actually a gray color in here. But definitely for the same SKU number it is definitely a different collection. And the SKU is way off so I'm not sure what happened. Um, and then this one is Haiti. And what I liked about these is that they're very neutral. They can go with lots of different things, not just this collection. Um, and in fact, I just bought a digital paper package that I'm probably going to repurpose these into. And even that one uh, goes real well with the packaging. You'll probably see those end up in a project not using this paper package. There's collection. So this is Haiti. Haiti, nice, very pretty pastels. This blue is a little bit bluer than the other one. The other one was more of a gray color. And there you have it. That is, from what I purchased, uh, the Lavender Collection by Prima.
Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great